What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of The Everything Club. I am joined today with my two best friends in the whole wide world, oh. Keelan and George. Keelan and George, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Absolutely. My name is Keelan Luke Morrissey. Uh, I am the proud host of Keelan.com, a bumpin' website that you all should check out. <laughs> I decided to forego my usual <laughs> my usual self-descriptors and just do a pure plug today. So I, I'm, I'm updating the website. By the time I, I release this, the website should be looking pretty, pretty sick. So awesome. be, be sure to check that out. Anyways, on to you, George. <laughs> That's cr- wow. That's crazy. <laughs> That's that, wild. I've never heard of anyone describe something as bumping before, unironically. <laughs> um, I thought that we we really left that behind in the 2000s, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, hi, everybody. My name is George Mitruv. I'm an engineer, an entrepreneur, and a lover of all things in the entertainment industry. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's awesome to be uh, sitting down with you boys today. Yeah, Absolutely. I, I cannot wait. I'm really excited uh, for the topic that we have today. But before we jump into that, I am Noah. Um, I am the uh, the sport guy and the video game guy of the group, mm-hmm. or at least outwardly. George apparently is also a video game guy, but we've never talked about it in a, a decade of, <laughs> in, a, in a decade of friendship that has never been something we've bonded over, which I think is kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, uh, so today we are going to be doing another ranking episode, and we are ranking. The oh MCU movies, phases one through three. Indeed. Excluding any of the uh, the TV programs that aired on uh, Netflix or Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or any of those little DVD shorts that for some reason Disney Plus decided deserve to be <laughs> in the timeline and have the same size thumbnails as every other movie, which I, that just always irked me. Like, not that they're not well made, but just that... Why are they why are they sandwiched in between all the other movies? Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm very excited to get into that. For movies, music, books, and more, join Keelan, Noah, and George, your ultimate entertainment hub. Welcome to the Everything Club. Noah, what have you been up to, namely yesterday? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, over over this past weekend, Keelan and I went on a double date. Uh, we we kind of let our, our girlfriend's uh, third wheel for us uh, <laughs> as we went off and fed some animals, some farm animals, some not-so-farm animals that just happened to be uh, crashed in here. Quick plug to Big Joel's Petting Zoo and Safari out Big in, <laughs> out in uh, Wright City, Missouri. It was a great time. If you're ever out in the area, absolutely go do that. Um, but, yeah, I had, I had a great time uh, over this past week. Uh, the MLB season ended, and as a Cardinals fan these last two seasons, I really couldn't ask for much more to be happy about. So, <laughs> it's over. <Damn. laughs> it's, it's over. <laughs> uh, George, how, how you doing? <laughs> Didn't they get rid of somebody today, Noah? I saw some, I saw some news about that. <laughs> um, so, the only news that I've seen is that uh, the president of baseball operations, uh, John Mosellock, I don't know if that's how you really pronounce his last name, but he, he's coming up on the end of his contract after next season. So, a lot of people have been calling for his head ever since we started losing badly. Um, and so, they announced that they're not going to renew his contract after it ends, after next season. So, we still have about one more season of potential misery ahead of us. Dang. Anyway, George, how you doing? <laughs> hey, boys, I'm doing pretty good. Um, the uh, the highlights of this mo- of, of this weekend. Um, I saw I saw Megalopolis in theaters. Nice. Um, no spoilers. I'm seeing it soon. Absolutely. It um, like f FYI, we definitely need to to talk about that whenever it's whenever it's done because. Oh my God! And um, I'm just gonna leave it at that because you don't want any spoilers. That's, someone else gave me that exact same review. Like I got a text from a friend in Chicago who's another film fan, and he was like, "Bro, I just saw. How do you say it? Megalopolis? Megalopolis? I believe it's mega, mega, megalop, megalopolis. Anyways, he's like, you need to see Megalodonopolis. Um, <laughs> it just, it just was crazy, and you need to see it. But he didn't give me any reason why. So I'm very curious about that one. So yeah, definitely. Um, You'll you'll have a time, and um, uh, yeah. I also I also had Lebanese food this weekend. Ooh. Um, with uh, with uh, Grace and John from high school. Nice. And um, it's surprisingly, the pizza was the best thing there. 
So, um, <laughs> boys, we can we, we can go there at some point. Um, <laughs> Lebanese pizza. But that sounds anyway. great. Yeah, Noah uh, Noah's already Noah's already given us his his update. Hey, Kila, how you doing? Oh man, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I was yeah, I was at Big Joel's uh, Wild Safari yesterday out in the Wright City, Missouri, and um, I I just can't get over the fact that I fed a camel. I just I just keep bringing that up to you Camille. You fed several camels. I fed several camels, and she's like, "Why are you so transfixed by just the camel?" I'm like, "It was a camel, dude. That was crazy. Like, I don't know if I'm the only person out here who just hasn't ever been like that close to a camel, but that just they're just so big, and so just I don't know. And that thing just strutted up to me. It just it's got three lips, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, the top one splits into two, and they're so versatile. Yeah. You know? it, was, it was very xenomorph-esque, wouldn't you say, George? <laughs> Gillen's been watching the Alien movies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that a camel is very xenomorph-esque, Gillen. <laughs> pretty but, close. Pretty close. <laughs> but if you want to think that, that's fine. <laughs> uh, but no, that was... That was a good time. And then the, the weekend prior, I hosted some friends from Chicago. We had a game night. We had some, some Oh, yeah, good I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been good over here. Um, like I said, making some updates to the website, doing some editing of some photos that I've taken throughout this past year, and, uh, and working on the ghost movie, which I think, <laughs> this, is, this is hot off the press, uh, will be titled The Glow. Not Clairvoyance? Not Clairvoyance That's Incorporated. That's tragic. I'm sadly. not going to watch it. Interesting. Yeah. Very, very mysterious. Very, very, very mysterious title. Yeah. yeah. One, one, one could say, um, Keelan, Keelan, as someone who knows absolutely nothing about the film, uh, is it related to uh, this year's Apple event titled "It's Glow Time"? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think they did get inspiration from my movie. Yes, I think you're right about that. Hmm. Yeah, Moving absolutely. on <laughs> to the rest of this episode, uh, we have uh, once again, as as we did with the last uh, ranking episode all those weeks ago, we have four categories that we're going to be ranking every MCU movie into, and we're going to be doing it as if or as if we were describing a sandwich, yep. I believe, to, to keep in theme with the the everything club sandwich esque theme that we have going on, because mm-hmm. um, I know we've really hit that home lately. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't have them in front of me. Can one of you read them off for me? Yeah, so that would be gourmet, yummy, plain, and soggy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's Love right. it. That's Thank right. you, Chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if it, if it's not a self-explanatory, gourmet is is a, a masterpiece of a film, well composed, well created. Uh, a, what was the second one? It's yummy. Yummy's a, a great watch. You wouldn't necessarily put it as. As a, as an all time classic, but it's it's a it's a it's a well done well done uh, piece of cinema. And then then we got plain, which is just pretty neutral, you know. Could it's go, all right. Could go know? without it. And then soggy, soggy. I mean, when I think of a soggy sandwich, I'm just flooded with negative emotions. So I think that's how I should feel when watching a soggy film. Would you say? You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite bit. <laughs> that is my favorite bit. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, Keelan Kiel, Kiel, is correct. Gourmet is uh, is at the top of our ranking, and soggy is at the bottom. Um, that, that was that was a, that was an excellent explanation <laughs> of how four things go in order. Thank you, George. Yes. <laughs> I'm really glad we went over the rank, the order of that list I three just, separate times. I just wanted to drive it home for the listeners so they don't forget. No, I mean right. it's, no, it's good. I, I I think that gourmet is naturally. I I mean intuitively it might even be at the bottom of the list. So Should we think about all reversing right. the order. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I am taking control <laughs> of this episode again um, for for this very reason. Um, and the fact that we have all been such big fans of these first three phases of the MCU specifically, we have a two-minute timer mm-hmm. <laughs> for each movie. And even that might be too much, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> no, um, we're, we're opinionated fellows. We have a lot to say. We, we so. are, especially about these movies because we, we grew up with these movies. They like, For the most part, I feel like they were all really good. So mm-hmm. we have a lot to say about them all. And uh, <laughs> this is our time constraint that we have for them. Two we, minutes a piece. We may <laughs> drop that timer to 90 seconds, depending on. Possibly. I would count on it. I would count on, on that, it. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, George, are you, are you writing down the, the order uh, as, as we go? Like which categories they get sorted into so we can review that at the end? Absolutely. Excellent. All right. Shall we get started? Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's kick it off. Someone want to queue up that two minute timer? We are kicking off, boys. 
with the very first Iron Man. All right, two minutes to start it. Um, I love this movie. I'm I'm a little biased towards Iron Man because he is my favorite superhero. Uh, s- second is like Daredevil, but he doesn't have a movie yet. But um, I absolutely love this movie. I I think it's w- what a way to kick off what the MCU would become. Um, Absolutely. It, it, it set the precedent. It set the tone. Yeah. It was, uh, I, I remember listening to this thing with uh, John Favreau, who directed it, saying that they, they brought him on, and before that, it was going to be just kind of sheer action, less comedy, mm-hmm. and they kind of they kind of set that comedic tone, which is really well balanced with the action and the intensity that I think kind of define those three phases. I think it's great for that reason. I would maybe throw it in yummy. I think that it's not the most uh, complex. I think there's other things that get done later in the MCU, but I, I'm just leaning towards Yummy. It's it's a it's a great watch. To, to be honest, I would I would say Yummy would be like the max that I would put it in. I think that Iron Man Iron Man One's like definitely like it was a very good like build, um, but it was definitely like a ramp to greater things to come. When I think of Iron mm. Man, I'm not thinking Wow Iron Man One great film. I'm thinking about all of the other movies that he was also in that I think that he did better in. So, I, to be honest, I, I really appreciate it, like, as a film, because I think that it sparked a lot of awesome things. But if we're actually evaluating Iron Man 1 as a movie in and of itself, I would put it in either Yummy or Plain. I, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. <laughs> I, this 30 seconds my opinions now. coming. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I am not willing to put it anywhere other than Yummy. Like, like any, anywhere lower than that. Like, me personally, I would, I would put it in the top tier because the precedent that it did set. You know, like it set the tone, like you said, it set the tone for the entire MCU and every the MCU built off of how successful that movie was. Yeah, it very much is the blueprint. And I, I see what you're saying about how it does kind of have that first chapter syndrome in that, yeah, bigger things were done later on. But I think it really, I think it does hold its own. I say yummy is a little. All right, yummy. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, we, we, we going on to the next one? Yep. Incredible Hulk. Let's hear it. Um, I'm going to be honest. I haven't seen this movie. <laughs> no, okay. All right, George. <laughs> All right, okay, Keon. Okay, um, this. To be to be honest, I kind of miss when like Marvel movies were a little bit more like this. Yes, I hear what you're saying. It it, it was definitely it, it was indicative of an era where like a lot of like this kind of style was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and I would put it probably at around plane because I don't think that anybody's like. The Incredible Hulk? Oh my god. But I also <laughs> but I also think that like because I actually rewatched this movie like a week ago. Oh really? And no, no it was just, The preparation just, is crazy. Was, yeah. <laughs> uh, well it's it was like I thoroughly enjoyed it, like watching it. Yeah. I definitely don't think that like in this ranking it should go higher than like the second tier. Mm. But I definitely think that it's it was just such a fun – like, I just I, I just really had a good time, like, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd be willing to go with Plain. I think there's an argument for Yummy just in that it, it took itself seriously in, in a way that I think a lot of the more current Marvel and DC films have sort of lost that essence of sincerity where you can actually really feel um, – really feel compelled about the story without it being interrupted by by jokes kind of constantly. And again, we've talked about this often. I think that the jokes and the humor can be done very well. I think in most of phases one through three, the jokes are done pretty brilliantly. Uh, this one was sort of before they settled into that, that humorous tone. And I think the intensity of it, the emotions you felt for the Hulk, as well as some of the cinematography with how they made a, a CGI character look really good and convincing at that time. And, and just the Hulk being the Hulk and not being... A watered down version no, of the Hulk to, was also very nice. To be honest, I you know what? you've convinced me a little bit. I, I I'd be willing to go yummy. I just really had a fun time watching. It, if I'm being completely honest, <laughs> yeah. I watched it a week ago and I was like, dang, this is cool. Okay, All right, that's uh, time. yummy. I guess we're settled. All right, Iron Man two. Iron Man two. Start it. Yep. All right, Noah, you want to kick us off with this one? <laughs> I can. Yeah. <laughs> um, so is is Iron Man two? That's one that didn't really land. Right, that's the one that is people. Or no, that's Iron Man three. Iron Man three had the more mixed reception, if I remember correctly. Yeah, no, I, I, like I said, Iron Man bias. I, I do love it. I don't think it's you know gourmet. I, I would put this in yummy too. Like I, to me, it's not on the same level as the first one, just because it's, it's like the continuation of the story. You're not being introduced, really. Yeah. To the characters or to the to Iron Man himself, but, um. 
Right. I haven't watched it in a minute. To me, I would I would teeter on the fence between plain and yummy. I, I think it was. I think I liked uh, Whiplash as a villain. Yep. I thought he was cool aesthetically. I liked uh, the, the you know bringing in Don Cheadle as as War Machine. Um, the introduction of having a uh, Fury and, and Widow kind of be more staple characters. There was there were definitely a lot of cool elements. So I, I'm just kind of on the fence because it, it, to me I, I don't remember it. Uh, terribly well and I, I don't it didn't leave like a super strong impact on me in the way other MCU films have to to be honest boys, I would probably put this one at like the absolute highest tier of plane either that or like the, or <laughs> I don't know we're that, doing sub tiers either here that, either that or the lowest or like the lowest part of Yummy yeah. yeah because like, it was definitely like I absolutely loved the whole like he has to spoiler he has to like save his life thing. Like I think I yeah, thought that that was yeah. like so cool. Like the idea of like having like a hero trying to like save themselves, I thought was very was very interesting. And I haven't seen another like movie that's kind of done something very similar to that. Yeah, that, yeah. that's true. Yeah, um, I, I could I could be convinced of Yummy. Yeah, like I I would not complain for either either one. Like I said, I have that that bias, so I lean a little bit towards more towards Yummy. But I mean. Once we get to Iron Man three, <laughs> I think yeah. the bias goes away a little bit. All right, yeah. we're going we're going low yummy then. All right, cool. <laughs> okay. that works for me. Uh, before before we before we hit the next timer, can I just interject something very briefly? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I wanted to I, I meant to do this earlier. I wanted to hit the listener with a disclaimer that, that I don't often say that uh, we we are not by any means uh, professional movie critics. Also, I don't think professional movie critics should be given that much credence in general. That's kind of an opinion I, I harbor. Um, <laughs> but I just I just want to say when we're talking about these these massive films that are undertakings of like thousands of people that put in work on these projects and we just say we just slap a yummy <laughs> label on it. <laughs> I, 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 this I, is what Rotten Tomatoes was made for. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And and I, I have beef with Rotten Tomatoes for a number of reasons. But oh, yeah. I, I, I just uh, I, I don't want anyone to listen to this who maybe hasn't seen some of these films and and form their opinion based on what we think. We are just three consumers. And at the end of the day, that's it. Yeah. And we, we have our opinions and everything and and so uh I, I just I don't want I don't want this podcast to ever be something that people are like, oh, they didn't like this movie, so we're not gonna like it. Right. Or or anything of that nature. So we're just we're just having fun here. Always form your own opinions. Yeah, Thank and you. we've we've all seen these movies multiple times. If they were really if they were like really god awful <laughs> we wouldn't watch them more than once yeah so <laughs> yeah so you know take everything we say with a grain of salt you know we're yeah. we're just a bunch of kids and adult bodies messing around in a recording studio so exactly exactly it's, all right it's cool. al- it's also important to note that this like the game that we're doing right now is very much like an incredible simplification yeah, yeah so exactly. so. <laughs> we have two minutes per movie is yeah. really hindering us <laughs> yeah all right all, all right. right thor thor <laughs> Go. All right, go. Okay, can I throw something out here? Yeah. yeah. I think the first Thor did a fantastic job, especially in the first act, of making Norse mythology visually represented in a really cool way. Um, I think that some of the later f- Thor films, uh, even the ones that I do enjoy um, stylistically, lose a bit of the essence of that really cool mythological scale. I think that Odin, Heimdall, Loki, Thor's whole, like, his gang – uh, the um, the frost giants, which we just in the MCU they just kind of totally yeah they threw the frost the, the <laughs> Loki being a frost giant storyline out the window yeah um, I just think I just think it laid a lot of really cool groundwork it was visually really cool um, and and I and I like I like the Thor relationship with the humans as well I think I think I would put I would also put Thor and Yummy uh, I could I could even be convinced to do gourmet I really like the first Thor if I'm being <laughs> honest. When I when I re- when I think back on the first Thor, I I get like a lot of really fond memories. Like if I'm being completely honest, like the like the like the ice planet, like I like like Loki's like Loki's betrayal. Like when yeah. I think of like all of the all of like the visuals of like what um of like what everything was like meant to be. I honestly like that was such a fun movie for me. Um, and I would be I would actually put it in in gourmet. That would be like my personal thought <laughs> yeah my, my only thing is is that i i, I guess more, more of against putting it in gourmet like absolutely yummy i just i can't say i remember too much from this movie you know like i yeah. i definitely seen it i yeah, know yeah. i've seen it for a fact i remember bits and pieces of it but i i just don't remember it to the extent that evidently you guys do so it didn't have that much of an impact on me as i guess as yeah. a movie goer yeah um but like i said absolutely yummy at like 
that's where I would put it. Okay, okay. I right, we, we got two gourmets, so do you want to throw it in gourmet? All right. All all right. I, I have, yeah, I have very fond nostalgic memories of seeing it as well. Yeah. Um, we, can do, right. we can do low gourmet. <laughs> <laughs> Sub tiers. Some categories in this. All well, right. it's a list. Like, I'm actually just using the list. <laughs> all right, what's the next one? Captain America First Avenger, baby. This is a good one. This is a good one. I, I love this movie. Chris Evans on that <laughs> on, on that guy's body. body. <laughs> that eh. but once he got one like after that, oh my god, it was it was so good. And like when we get to Civil War, I'm team Iron Man all the way, but I love <laughs> The more, the more I go back and watch the Captain America movies, the more I just I love them. Yeah. Like all of them. I Talk don't, about a solid trilogy. You, dude, I mean, they really they went to work with Captain yeah. America, and I love it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's definitely it, the storytelling was excellent. I thought the visuals were awesome. I thought that like the actual like themes and everything that were like stretched through was also great. Mm-hmm. Um, I honestly I think that. I, I would put it solidly in gourmet. I think that yeah. this yeah. is like this is definitely I think, one of the higher I think ones. So on the too. List. And it's so and it's so compelling and you'd think that a character like Captain America that's just this bold, patriotic guy would be a bit outdated and a bit hard to like relate to mainstream audiences, but the way that Chris Evans did that performance, the way that they wrote that film, he's he's such a such a strong character. I think Peggy Carter is also an amazing yep. secondary character. I think uh Red Skull is a fantastic villain. I think just I think that film is where the MCU truly found its footing. I think that is tonally great, just great film, great film. Uh, yeah, they, they, they really hit their stride with that one. That, yeah. I can't praise it enough. <laughs> yeah. I, I, re- I really can't. Sounds good. So, Gourmet? Yeah, go right. Gourmet. We, thir- we were good consensus. We had 25 seconds left on Oh, my that. goodness. Right. Let's we should it. just add some fluff, why don't we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys, we're up at the first Avengers now. Let's oh boy, right. the Avengers. The Avenger, the original Avengers. George, why don't you lead this one off? I don't mm-hmm. think you've led one off yet. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, take some initiative, man. Yeah, fine. The um, Avengers initiative. <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, all right. <laughs> if 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 anybody wants to put this lower than gourmet, they can they they can, they can see me um, because this this uh, this was an amazing film. Like I like it was it was groundbreaking in so many different ways. I thought that like at. at the the whole kind of rising action was awesome. Like mm-hmm. the main the main fight like was was also epic. And then like the whole the like every single part, every single individual element of the movie between like the moment that it began the main fight and then like the ending credits mm-hmm. was just a beautifully done piece of like actual like like if I had to convince people how to make one of these kinds of like epic like mm-hmm. huge mm-hmm. budget like cinematic movies where like there's like all of these like heroes and stuff i would point at this movie and be like all right folks take notes yeah yeah no well like one one of my favorite things just i guess in in cinema or like things like this is seeing all the stories that we saw individually converge into one bigger exactly yeah and it did that beautifully so good there's like joss whedon really went (laughs) he went all out with this movie and i love it (laughs) I will say that the film's legacy has been marred a bit by some of the Whedon controversy since then. Yeah, but I mean, this is before all that. Like this, even with all that, this movie is still a masterpiece. Yeah, that is. Well, I admit I was having this conversation with with a friend uh, not too long ago, and she was also saying that she really dislikes everything that's come out about Joss Whedon and and his his onset behavior with with everything. But yeah. that but that it's really hard to deny that the man made a, a, he made a good Avengers made, movie. Made a really good it's movie. really hard to it's really hard to to take that away. Um, Five seconds. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Characters were balanced really well. Visually awesome. Gourmet. Gourmet. All right. Uh, boys, we are at Iron Man three. Um, start that timer. I just want to say I remember this movie coming out in. We were in fifth grade, and I remember the pressure that was on it to how are you going to make another solo movie after you just did The Avengers? <laughs> yeah. And it was an interesting time. I, we were all kind of wondering where is the MCU going to go now that they've done this kind of Avengers, which felt like the most cumulative thing they could do, and they've since proved <laughs> us wrong. <laughs> um, people, people, uh, there was there was a lot of mixed reception around Iron Man 3. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I, I don't have any negative uh, really – memories of it um i thought i thought the way they did tony's kind of ptsd was was pretty cool uh it was portrayed well in terms of the 
like the flashbacks to the big alien things and how that could take a toll on somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that was kind of a cool angle that they took. Um, I liked all the different suits uh, being being utilized. I thought there were some there were some cool elements. Aldrich Killian as a villain was cool. I, I mean, I enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, but it but it certainly certainly didn't have the the most long lasting legacy. Um, for, for me, but yeah. I think it's important that we define the soggy category <laughs> as not necessarily bad, just at like the lowest tier. Like I have not rewatched Iron Man 3 once. Yeah. Like I saw it I saw it in the theater and I'm basing all of my memories based off of that. Um, yeah. I may have rewatched it over COVID, but again, I was not like, I was not engaged nearly as much as the other things. Um, again, I don't think it's a bad film. I just think that like it, it was definitely... It definitely didn't hit as much as any of the other films here, and that's why I would probably put it in Soggy. Again, I, I don't think that Soggy is a bad category. Yeah, I just think yeah. that it's yeah. definitely at the lowest of those lists. No, yeah, I, I, I agree with you, George. I, I think this this might belong in Soggy. It is definitely my my least favorite of the Iron Man movies. Mm. Uh, definitely hit the weakest, and that could that could potentially be marred by, you know, it cut the it being the next movie after Avengers. But I mean. It just nothing really stood out to me in a way that I was like, "This is a fantastic movie." So I I wouldn't put it in soggy, but I guess I've been outvoted. So go for it. All right, Thor: The, the, the Dark, Dark World. World. <laughs> I, I I we we got into this briefly in our Deadpool and Wolverine episode. We did. I think we have some conflicting opinions on this one. Um, D- George, you want to start? No, no, I want. I don't want to start. You guys start. Okay. Uh, you know, yeah, you go ahead. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll just say I, I like it for similar reasons to the first Thor. I like it because uh, I thought that the, the Norse mythology was portrayed in a cool way. Um, I thought that the, the tone was good. I thought that the human characters were compelling. I love uh, Jane and Darcy. I think Darcy's really funny. Uh, like they brought they brought her back for WandaVision, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I understand the complaints about it. Uh, I do. But I just think it was a cool kind of installment in the kind of the saga of Thor. I think it served a cool place in Loki kind of overtaking the throne and that kind of thing. Um, I just, yeah, I, I understand the complaints, but I I just wouldn't, I, I would put it in maybe maybe plain. I, I don't know. I just, I just don't think it's as bad as people say it is, but that's just me. No. Yeah, I mean, it's, for me, kind of like with, with Iron Man or some of the other ones that we've talked more negatively about, it just didn't, I don't remember much from it, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I honestly, I can't really tell you one one thing I do remember from it, <laughs> and, and, which is, again, I know I've seen it. Like, yeah. I, I, I know for a fact that I've seen it. I just couldn't tell you anything that happened in that movie. Maybe you just have amnesia selective to the Thor franchise. <laughs> that, that is very possible. <laughs> as, 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 at yeah. the same time, like, I... I'm a, I'm a I'm a fan of the uh, of the latter two movies yeah, yeah. Or of the of the later ones. Mm-hmm. At, at, as a, as a Thor, as like a, I I really enjoy Thor, like like his whole like trilogy. Yeah, and like even like Ragnarok, and I have and I have slightly negative feelings about Ragnarok. I would still put it a little bit above this because I don't think that the second one was nearly as memorable. I would put it either bottom plane or high soggy. Yeah, I, I'd go. I'd go plain. Okay, I'd go we, plain. Is plain a good compromise? Yeah. Okay, sick. All right, next one. <laughs> Captain like, America. I was gonna say by compromise, I mean the one I suggested. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, what is it? Winter Soldier. Yeah, that's a damn good movie. Another good one. Another good dude. They they really did not miss with Captain America. <laughs> they, they, really, they really didn't. Yeah, I mean when I when I when I think of a quality MCU film, I think of Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, this is super random, but it was on in uh, Camille and I were at a Hilton in Milwaukee, and it was just on. <laughs> That's the last time I saw it, and and but I, were you? <laughs> and, and I was just captivated. I mean, I was like, I was just, I was not planning on watching this, but I cannot stop watching this. It's just, it's just. Uh, yeah, the Bucky storyline, the the Cap and Natasha. I mean, I just, yeah, it's just, it's just a good movie. It's just, it has a really good. It just feels like a good like spy thriller kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, Nick Fury's. Super badass in that one. I mean, yeah, cool, cool movie, man. I'd put it. I'd put it right after Captain America: First Avenger. Yeah, I think that it's it's definitely one of the better standalone movies that I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Like it's it's um, 
I, I would still say First Avenger holds like a little bit more than that because yeah. it's very much like it's the beginning of something and you feel and you're feeling good. It also has that like retro feel mm. that's also kind of fun. But yeah, I would yeah. definitely I would definitely still put Winter Soldier in Gourmet and I would put it um, right now third in the list. Hundred percent agree. I, yeah, I also have this other memory, and this is like not even I'm not even fabricating this. I was I was in the theater watching Captain America: The Winter Soldier as like a eighth grader or seventh grader. And I remember literally sitting on the edge of my seat. I was sitting, <laughs> like, it's the oh, only time yeah. I can remember sitting upright in a movie theater because I was so actually engaged by was the that, action Was that the before story. they had the reclining seats? It was, yes. The, I think it was at the, the Galleria Six Cinemas. Oh, God. oh dear um, Lord. Dude. And you had the Esquire right there? <laughs> Uh, or, right. or maybe it was Esquire pre-renovation, but I was seeing it with my good pals Borna Dianati and Edward Piper. We were there at the at the theater. What a trio! I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I remember this very distinctly. All right, that's fine. Right. So yeah, so gourmet. All gourmet. right, so so gourmet. Right now we got two caps, one Thor. Is that is that correct? Right now, gourmet. Okay, so quick recap of the list for the <gasps> listener. Okay, uh, gourmet. Uh, num- uh, the number one position we have the Avengers. Second oh, position, right. Captain America: First Avenger. Third position, Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Fourth position, Thor. Well, when you say position, it's not necessarily that order, right? In terms of quality. Mm-hmm. Well, that that's what I that's what I was going with. But like, we we don't necessarily have to do. Honestly, that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. I'm like, not... I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put the original Thor above those other three movies. Okay, I just you know? was sure. I just wasn't. I just wasn't thinking about it that way. That we were putting when, them when, in I, when I was saying like high and low, I've just been like putting them like around. Yeah. Gotcha. Where they gotcha. Are gotcha. Okay. Um, okay. In Yummy, uh, in Yummy, we have <laughs> what's in Yummy, George? <laughs> <laughs> we have Iron Man One, The Incredible Hulk, and Iron Man Two. Okay, I'm happy okay. with that. In Plain, we have Thor: The Dark World, and in Soggy, we have Iron Man Three. <laughs> okay. All right. Again, cool. Just, it's just crazy. <laughs> We're just reducing these films <laughs> to sandwich. This is your idea. I mean, this yeah. is absolutely your idea. The sand, the sand, yeah, the sandwich thing was. All right. Was uh, my what's idea. the? What's uh, let's let's keep chugging along. All right, let's keep chugging along, boys. Um, oh, the, boys, we got a good one on the slate. We got Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy. Oh, start the timer. Come on. <laughs> I've clicked it four times. All right. Gourmet. 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 <laughs> all right. Uh, so four now let's now let's, now let's now let's let let's determine where in gourmet. Uh, and we might act, we can actually we can actually we can actually just we can actually just like rearrange little things in the list if 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 if, if that's if okay cool okay but uh, here's here's a super spicy take yeah when I soggy <laughs> no when when I first saw Guardians I remember thinking I like that better than the Avengers when I first saw it when I first mm. saw it I'm not saying that I necessarily still hold that or that it, or that it has that longevity. But I just remember thinking, "Wow, that's really cool how they how how good they made that that ensemble movie with characters that we are just now being introduced to." Yeah, and I just thought I thought that the dynamic was was crazy, and the visuals. I th- also I also like the visuals more yes. than Avengers personally. Yeah. Um, so for those reasons, I put it pretty high. But obviously, Avengers is more iconic for various reasons. I, I'd say that it's also a, I even in some ways like a slight difference in genre. Because like Avengers is very much like that like classic superhero movie because they're still like on Earth. Yeah. Yeah. Guardians is a little bit different because they're like they're going through space and they're still having like an awesome adventure. But yeah. I wouldn't say that it's like the exact same vibe or the exact same tone. Yeah. That and that just that that climax with with Ronan yeah. is yeah. so epic. When they're all is it the space stone that they're all holding? Yeah. And that's just or yeah, was it the space what's, stone? What's the it's the purple one? I thought yeah. I thought blue was space stone. I'm not sure. You're asking the colorblind guy. But <laughs> whichever one, it was super cool when they were all, like, there were just so many hard-hitting emotional moments while yeah. also being a really funny, fun-to-watch movie. And that, I just loved it for that reason. Uh, so I'd put it high gourmet. Not high sure, gourmet, Not sure yeah. where exactly amongst the list, though, but okay. high gourmet. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was a great movie, too, yeah. Nice note. Glad, I could, <laughs> glad, well, I, glad well, I could get my last four seconds of discussion sorry, I, in there. No, I, can't, I can't see the timer. I don't mean to be hogging the space. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay, gents. Um, right now, I have it. Um, I have it as this: Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain America: First Avenger, Captain America: The Winter Soldier, Thor. I might put thinking? it in between the Captain Americas. Keelan? I'm just I'm just not entirely like sold on this 
this list in so general. So we don't consult him. <laughs> I just like I would maybe put Thor somewhere else. I put I might put Winter Soldier above First Avenger. I just I just have a, yeah. a number of opinions on this. I, I disagree with putting Winter Soldier above. Well, this is this is a compromise. So are we all generally okay with the list? Yeah. Sure, I'm good with the list. Sick. All right. <laughs> Age of Ultron, boys. I got some things to say. Hold on, let me get the timer started. <laughs> uh, what is going on? <laughs> All right, Age of Ultron, very underrated in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. I, I really had a good time with this movie. Yeah, and I, it was not received well generally. I think, like, I think it got a lot of mixed reviews, whether it was from the audience or, or the, those sickos at Rotten Tomatoes. But yeah. I. I wouldn't say that it's the best Avengers movie by far. Like I, of all of them, I'd say it's probably the weakest. But I still, I I loved it. Ultron, I think, worked really, really well. Um, I will. Captain America tried to choke him, which I don't understand. Um, but it also introduced Vision, and Vision yes. is one of the one of my favorite, one of the best characters in mm-hmm. the MCU. So and, and it introduced Wanda. It did also introduce Wanda. That's yeah. right. I personally. And I'm I'm biased here, but I, I it's one of my favorite MCU movies. Yeah. It's it's um I would I don't know where I would rank it amongst the other Avengers films, but I just thought it was it was dark in a really cool way. I thought it was just a really good follow up, really good sequel where you got to see the team kind of in their element, like interacting in a really good way. Mm-hmm. Um, introducing Wanda and Quicksilver and Vision. Ultron was a great villain. James Spader killed it with that voice. Uh, visually, just all the effects like. Just, See, just, seeing seeing the growth and progression in the movie yes. of Ultron, like from when yes. he started out just as the AI, and then the one disheveled robot, and then dude, Ooh, literally when he, take, when he kills when he kills himself, like when he yes. when the bigger Ultron tears the older Ultron in half, like crazy dude, moment. I I just can't praise it enough. I, think, I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got it's, eighteen seconds. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's solidly gourmet. Um, I would put it like to to me. It, I I would honestly say, and this is a testament to Guardians, but I, I'd put it around there. It's like that same kind of level of like whimsy and kind of awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would go gourmet. Cool. General. I think generally a hot take for the three of us. Yeah. Comparative to to how other people feel. Yeah. All right, gents. It's time. For Ant Man. Let's go. <laughs> That's really not the one I thought was going to be next. I thought, I thought Civil War was going to be next. Guys, I. It's so goofy. It's 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 very difficult for me to care about Ant Man. I I love I love <laughs> I I love I love so many so many things about the movie and about the MCU. I just I I it is I struggle to to care about the Ant Man movies. I, I I don't I don't I'm not like deeply invested in the Ant Man trilogy, but I thought the first Ant Man was was really fun. It was really fun. Yeah, the visuals were really cool. Uh, like genuinely not meaning this as a pun. It was kind of just a small self contained story, um, minus the Falcon cameo and. I like that, and I like the characters that they introduced. Like, uh, was it Louise? Was it the the one really funny guy? He was he was oh, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, just a good self contained little story. I, I liked it. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's 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 a goofy movie, you know. Like yeah. it, the the they really took a different direction with some of the humor in that movie. I think, uh, but I think that just comes with having Paul Rudd in a movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, which. For what he ha- for what he did, I th- I thought he did great. I thought yeah. he's a great Ant Man. They just kind of did him dirty with the with the next two movies. Mm, I um I I think Ant Man like the first Ant Man is a solid movie. I wouldn't absolutely not put it in gourmet, but I'd put it in yummy. Yeah, uh, I think I think yummy's fair. <laughs> such a strange <laughs> sentence to say. <laughs> I, I wouldn't put Ant Man in gourmet. Ant Man is yummy. <laughs> <Ant-Man> is yummy. <laughs> I'd say I, I'd say low yummy for me. I think that if they if they made the movie a little bit more significant to like the plot of like the whole MCU, I could definitely see myself putting it higher. But I would definitely put like I put it low yummy. Is is, I feel like is it was a, it was a gateway to the resolution of Endgame? But all right. Well, that was a different Ant Man, wasn't that? Was that Ant Man and the Wasp? I think so. Yeah. Oh. That where would he be gets, Ant-Man Yeah, where he gets trapped Wasp. in the quantum realm or whatever. Yes, yeah. That would be Ant Man and the Wasp. I, yeah. I don't know why I thought that came out after. All good? Yeah, evidently the second one doesn't hold much cadence to me, so... Yeah, all right, let's do it. All right. Wait, I, Ant-Man and the Wasp is... Yeah, it's not on this list, so I'm confused now. No, it is. Where? It's right under Captain Marvel. 
This is right before Captain Oh, Marvel. you're right. I see it. My bad. All right. All right. Ready? The ne- next movie? Yep. Doc uh, Strange. Doctor Strange. <laughs> um, I'd say I, I really enjoyed Doctor Strange. Yeah. I think the Doctor Strange is a really cool movie. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't put it in, like, I wouldn't put it in gourmet status uh, just because I think that, like, there's a certain level of, like, I don't know, gravitas that you need to put to the, you need to put something into the into the gourmet status. But I I, I really like everything that they did. I thought was unique and awesome, and I would definitely I would definitely throw it in Yummy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think that it, it was a really good introduction to Doctor Strange. Um, like a, as you know the intro movies go for each hero, I think it was one of the better ones. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean they. they <laughs> They did. They did a good job with it. I, I really don't know what else to say. It's. It. I always love watching it, um, especially near, the end. <laughs> especially near the end when we see the you know Thor the Bobby. ancient. Well, the ancient one. Oh, the ancient one. Yeah. The ancient one. Like it, everything is like slow motion and everything. You see the rain, the helicopter, the lightning. Yeah. Like the the visuals yeah. on it were were good, and they had to be, and they 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 did a good job with with that. Yeah. Yeah, say what you want about it. it. It definitely created its own visual language that's really cool. Yeah. Like creating its own kind of magic system. Obviously influenced by the comics, but the way that they translated it to, to cinema is really cool. Um, I really stumbled through my... <laughs> <laughs> no, you're I, good, I acknowledge that. I really, I really fumbled that sentence, but... No, I, not at all. Um, but... I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> minorly distracted <laughs> by George <laughs> circling the room. I would, I would put it in high yummy. High uh, yummy. Not, not quite... You know, gourmet, but yeah. it's very, very solid movie. I I go back and watch it from time to time, but it just doesn't hold the same status to me and I think to everyone else as like you know Avengers or. Yeah, how much time we got? Five seconds. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, then sure, yummy. <laughs> Hi, yummy. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, boys. This is this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a cool one. All right. Oh boy, you ready? Born ready. Yep. Let's do it. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Gorman. Loved it. <laughs> Loved it. I I thought that this was de- th- oh my god. This I mean, is how sequels need to be done. It yeah. it was such a good sequel. It was yeah. a ridiculously good <laughs> sequel. Oh my god. I thought I thought it was I thought it was amazing. Like it, like, literally amazing. Um, yeah. I would put it I would put it like high gourmet. Like I think that it's like it definitely like lived up to the hype and it was mm. really awesome. Yeah, I, it's one of those movies where I haven't seen it in a minute, but I just distinctly remember some. There's like so many shots from that movie that I yeah. can just picture so vividly. And the characters introducing Mantis, it was just hilarious. Like Mantis and Drax's relationship kills me. And the way uh, they did Ego, I I really liked. Like, yeah, really made you hate him. <laughs> yeah, they really did go with that. The moment the moment when Quill realizes what Ego did is, yep. I also think a similarly really memorable, intense moment that I that is something I love about James Gunn is is how well he can do really funny movies that really still hit you in the feels and have high stakes like yeah. he that's I'm yeah he does that really really well um yeah I will Guardians say, 2 was, was not really a fan of Baby Groot but <laughs> right it did introduce Baby Groot I think Baby Groot was culturally a, a, a bit blown out of proportion I would say just a little bit but I I, I enjoyed him for what he was but he <laughs> <laughs> What is it with baby alien things? It's like baby Yoda too. Like the entire world just lost their minds when baby Yoda. Came I think on the I think it's just small inhuman things because the minions for minions a long still time had like a, the most profitable franchise. Dude, in I, it's cra- <laughs> Illumination is still milking that. It's crazy. There's five Despicable Me movies now. It's 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 pretty unbelievable. Um, what 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 I'll say is I. I think that they probably should have aged Groot a little quicker. Yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if yeah. I, I. I think that maybe having a little bit more adult Groot um, was would have been good um, yeah. instead of only teen for the rest of the time. Right. I do miss like time, big menacing way. Groot. That's time. What did we? What did we say? Did we say? High we gourmet. said gourmet, right? Yeah, high gourmet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Cool. All cool. right. Next one. Uh, boys, we skipped one. Oopsie poopsie. We skipped Civil War. Was right after Ant Man. I was wondering when that was gonna come. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is it not on your list? Mm, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at, like, the wiki, and it's right after Ant-Man. Oh, really? Okay. Between Ant-Man and Doctor Strange, you missed that one. Jeez. All right. <laughs> we apologize profusely, <laughs> Captain America, Civil War. A pseudo-Avengers film. Indeed, indeed. And I, I love that. I yeah. am Team Iron Man all the way. Um, 
But still, I, like I said before, all they did not miss with any of the Captain America movies. Mm-hmm. Um, I I tend to align myself with <laughs> the ideals of Team uh, uh, Team Iron Man rather than uh, Team Cap. But I mean, still, I I'd say that like w- without getting into like the the te- like the teams in the movie, but I would say that this is probably one of the. Ca- one of the cooler things. Um, I know DC had their own, like their own kind of foray and in, like into like the heroes fighting each other thing in the, within the same year. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. <laughs> it was a year for heroes fighting each other. No, a- absolutely. I'd say that um, it, th- this was definitely done in such a cool way. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that. It, I mean, everything about it, I thought was amazing. Like the internal conflict, the division within the team, mm-hmm. how everything resolved itself, the fight. Um, I think that all of this was absolutely amazing, um, and I can't believe that. Um, I, I can't believe that no other, no 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 other company had ever thought to do this before. I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely it's, it's it's absolutely wild. Um, so uh, so uh, yeah, I'd say no. I honestly put it in like solidly in, in gourmet. I, I'm on the fence between yummy and gourmet. I I put it I put it high yummy. Um, I'm leaning high yummy too. I feel like there are parts of it that are gourmet. There's parts of it that are that are quite juicy like i think the last the, fight with the, yes cap the, and iron man and bucky i'd say that that like in individually in itself like the reveal of everything yeah. and like within like all of the like the soviet kind of technology and like things like that and like the way that mm-hmm. everything was like kind of building to that moment i'd say that that like level of like dramaticism and like like you like, feel the tension and everything yes i'd yes. say that that was done in a, in a compelling enough way to put it into low gourmet okay yeah. that that's time there's there's one more thing i want to say to this and i know i'm, I'm breaching the timer but this oh spawned one of my favorite jokes from the mcu okay which was uh like just a, a toned down description <laughs> of the movie itself it is too Hu- uh, two superhuman beings beating up an orphan after the orphan finds out he killed his parents. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Which is just kind of crazy. That is, yeah. And he still almost won. <laughs> that <laughs> like, is true. <laughs> the, the suit helped him out a lot, but he he held his own against two, you know, two uh, what is it? What is, uh, super soldiers? Is that? What? Yeah, 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 super soldiers. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. Also, that movie introduced. Introduce Spider-Man to the MCU, which is it, pretty it also, revolutionary. We didn't know it at the time. Introduce Mysterio. We didn't know it at the time. <laughs> Question mark? It did? How? Uh, when he was doing the, the tech introduction thing, it was called The Fart at the very beginning. What? I do not remember this. It was it was part of Mysterio's whole backstory. Where he Mysterio came up with like the, the whatever the glasses were, the uh, yeah. like augmented reality yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, and you called it The Fart. And everyone oh, okay. laughed at me. Oh, uh, you, need to, okay. you need to rewatch. I, I, you need to rewatch I, I, that movie. Man. Yeah, I do. I, I haven't. I never made that connection. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, he hated Stark for that very reason. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I Far From Home is probably the. I don't think. I've, I think I've only seen it once. I think I've only seen it in theaters, the one time. Yeah. So uh, I, yeah. I will say I don't. I think I haven't seen Homecoming. I don't think I've seen Homecoming. Really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Now that I'm thinking back on it, but well, yeah, that brings us to our next. Is it? Our, is it Spider-Man next Homecoming? One is Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's unfortunate. All right. All right. Spider-Man Homecoming. Honestly, no, guys, no, this, is one, <laughs> this is one of my favorite movies. This is one of my favorite movies. I loved it. <laughs> uh, so, so a, a chief complaint that I remember hearing about Homecoming around the time it came out was that it kind of just felt like a little bit like Iron Man Four, in that Tony was very prevalent in that movie, which. Makes me surprised you haven't seen it because it was a very Iron Man centric film. He was a pretty big character. I also don't. I haven't seen this one in a while, so I'm not qualified to give a super detailed opinion. But I, I enjoyed it. I thought it. I, I thought it established a cool new corner of the MCU. I think that the this particular Spider-Man trilogy is very, very fun, very unique. Um, I like Tom Holland as as Peter Parker. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was cool. Uh, I'm just yeah. It, it's not t- t- okay. I, maybe I can step in. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'd say that this is Save us, George. <laughs> I'd, I'd say this is a plain movie. Yeah, um, I think so. The, I, I thought it was it was interesting h- how they introduced Spider Man because every other character kind of got their own standalone like, I am a hero in my own right kind of thing, mm-hmm. and Spider Man was kind of just like Stark's pull, apprentice. Yeah, like yeah. pulled out of obscurity by Tony. And yeah. I thought that that was that was very interesting because 
I know of like Marvel's kind of history with Spider Man and how it like yeah. and how it like really kind of grew into like a character in and of its own right. So mm-hmm. I thought that the way that they did this was very interesting. Yeah. I think that it sets up a like the whole kind of mentor apprentice and like almost kind of like father son ish like relationship mm-hmm. that like really makes like the later parts of like the Avengers films kind of hit very hard. Yeah. True. Um but I would say that this is I mean this is an okay movie. I I think that um I think that labeling it otherwise would be I don't know maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I I do think it's a good minute to remember okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Keaton's the vulture was a really cool villain though. I, I did like him. Um but I think I think plan is plan is fair. I need to revisit it though. I do. I have an only I need to watch it. <laughs> like I I don't know. I don't know why I haven't watched it. It's not like yeah. I have a disdain for Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, I, I just I haven't watched it. Yeah, and to your point, George, I like him as kind of an underdog that kind of comes in. He's not like an established hero. I think that's actually kind of a cool thing they did. All um, right. Okay. Next anyways, movie. next movie. Thor Ragnarok. Okay, I see George giggling already. I just want to. I want to say this movie has grown on me a lot. I I actually like it a lot more now than I did when it came out. When it, when it came out. I was very opinionated about it. I, I, I think George remembers this. <laughs> Listener, Keelan was mad. Keelan, <laughs> I have never seen Keelan more upset about a movie's choices. I okay. This was this was it was like what seven years ago? So or no, like six years ago. So I, I have my 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 film taste has changed a lot, and and I, I have grown to really enjoy uh, a lot of the choices made by this film. I just think at the time, I, it was such whiplash from the previous Thor films. It was yeah. so, such a departure from the tone that they had established. And I was I was just in the theater wondering, like, why is Thor cracking jokes every five seconds? This is so different than the past two. Um, but for, for what it did, for, for the visuals, for the, the, the music, for the, um, the just really kind of exploring a different realm of the Marvel Universe and, and, and just being stylistically its own thing. And I, I, I do like that director, Taika Waititi, um, what he did, I, th- I thought it was cool. Um, so I, I would, I would say, I would say yummy. Yeah. I, I guess uh, this is a hot take. I never had an issue with this film. This is yeah. actually probably my favorite Thor film. Yeah. Um, yeah. It is a lot of people's. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. It, it, it was fun. Like, I mean, like you said, it was, it was quite, <laughs> quite a, a culture shock from, from the other two uh, Thor movies. But I mean, I didn't necessarily see that as a bad thing. Um, clearly the other two Thor movies didn't make much of an imprint on me, but I absolutely love this one. Um, so, I mean, I would put it in yummy or, or high plane. <laughs> Sorry, George, I had like 30 <laughs> seconds. I mean, I mean, I know <laughs> you're all good. Um, George, okay. say your piece. Yeah, give us, give us, say, give, say give us a piece. quick take, will, yeah. quick take, George. I'd say that for what the you movie got two was, minutes. <laughs> for what the movie was trying to do, it did it well. Um, I just really would have like I thought that Thor like the first two serious Thor movies I thought were awesome because we really didn't get as many of these kind of like serious movies and dedicated serious movies yeah. in the MCU um, like especially with like Spider-Man and like all of that because Spider-Man is definitely like it is not is not a serious superhero movie right, like, it, right. like, like Tom Holland again awesome but like it, this is not this is the tone of these movies over time has definitely gotten more and more um not necessarily silly but like comedic and like almost um almost as if they're like riding on air kind of a deal uh where yeah. it's not necessarily like we're like we're, we're we're fighting like grit to grit or like 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 nobody's really kind of been like in the dirt um yeah. for very much so i i was a little bit let down with this movie because i really wanted thor to be um, more on that serious side, but again, for what this movie was trying to do, it definitely did it. Um, so I would, I would put it, I would put it between y- yummy and plain for me. But if you guys are saying yummy, then we can we can end it there. Okay, yeah, I think yummy's good. Yummy's fine. Yeah, it, it was it was just a cool. It was it is a cool movie to watch, and it's like it's the the colors are so striking. It's very distinct. Yeah. Um, We're really going over a yeah. few minutes here. Yeah, we kind of. <laughs> All right, let's All right. Next, that out next the one. Next one. one. Yep. Black Panther. Black Panther. Th- this movie... Just go. Just, this, it, it'll start eventually. This movie stands alone. I think, yeah. that th- yes. uh, to be honest, this this doesn't fit on our, like, in our higher, in this ranking. Um, mm. I I would put it in, I would put it in Gorman. I, I thought that, like, everything that they did 
with this and like knowing like the meaning behind everything um yeah was i mean it really just does not and and this is this is why these are some of the most successful marvel movies period like mm-hmm. the black panther films uh because they they really they really kind of tried to forge their own way within a superhero genre and i think that to be honest i, I would put it in gourmet and yeah i, I would I, it, it's even weird for me to like rank it in our little system because <laughs> i think that they're so different yeah no i love black panther um he's generally just one of the coolest superheroes Mm -hmm. and it's kind of crazy to me that he this is his this is his movie after he was he's introduced to introduced to us in in civil Civil war War. yeah i forgot this because it it took some time to get his own solo movie yeah yeah um but they did a fantastic job with it um really really just visually stunning uh the jokes (laughs) were a little outdated at the time (laughs) but i mean (laughs) Now you could just be like, that was cringy, but all right, let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I haven't I haven't rewatched it in a while. Uh so I don't I don't super remember the um how I felt about the the, the humor, but um well, it was just the, the two years after the what are those trend oh, happened oh. <laughs> and, and Shuri yeah. Oh I, I do remember that. I yeah, remember that was that. bad. <laughs> that, that was bad. Everything uh, else though was great. <laughs> yeah, I, I do like Shuri as a character though. Yeah. And I and I liked um yeah, it just introduced a lot of a lot of strong characters, and um, yeah, Wakanda was just so so visually well represented. Like you just couldn't yeah. have done that better. You couldn't have brought it to life better. Um, Killmonger, Killmonger was great. Stellar villain, yeah. Um, and yeah, just I mean, just Chadwick's performance was was incredible. Yeah, Rest I think in I peace. think I think Gourmet is fair. Gourmet, yeah. Sounds good. All right, boys. Avengers: Infinity War. Oh boy. Soggy. <laughs> They introduced <laughs> Professor Hulk, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> this this was such a good movie. I swear to God. I, I mean, it lived up to the hype of everything. Yeah. Like I think, and that was so hard because mm-hmm. there was so much hype behind everything, um, and it really like it 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 hit a punch that I think can still be felt today in cinema. Mm. Um, so I would I would put it solidly in gourmet. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I would put it in gourmet, but not necessarily for the same reasons. I wouldn't say that it lived up to the hype. It expanded on it mm. because it it left you on a cliffhanger for Endgame. Right. You know. Right. So like, it really was that bridge to like this is what you know is gonna happen, but we're gonna make it so much seem so much more epic in this you know prequel. Mm. I don't want to say prequel that. That's not the right word, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. It, it's it's the segue into the mm, segue segue <laughs> <laughs> into the next bigger film. Right. So I would say, for, yeah, it lived up to the hype, but that's not all it did. Like it expanded totally. on it tenfold for the ne- like for for Endgame. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love a good movie that's kind of like kind of the the Empire Strikes Back kind of structure where the heroes lose yeah and and there's there's the chance for redemption in the next movie but i like it like just that ending where thanos succeeds yeah he wipes out half the universe he does that and that was such just the weight of that moment is i can still remember feeling that in the theater like oh my god like half of them just got eviscerated i I, I especially love the use of silence in the end where it was like it wasn't it wasn't like it wasn't a tragedy it wasn't something like that it was just a silent failure yeah, and I thought that that was extremely like well done. that. That yeah. movie had a grip hold on like society as we know it for know. like a year until Endgame came out. Yeah, it did. Uh, so that's that's time. Uh, definitely gourmet. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent gourmet. Also, some really really cool visuals, especially surrounding like the Infinity Stones and where yes. they're kept and all that. And that's time. Okay, that's ti- sorry, that's sorry, time. sorry, guys. But yeah, well, they they did Wanda dirty in that movie. That's oh, and then he just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, actually, 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 what do you mean by that? They did Wanda dirty. uh She had to watch Vision die twice. Oh, oh, yeah, true. I thought you meant they did her character dirty. But yeah. I mean, well, yes, but purely for that reason. (laughs) She had to watch the one person she loves in this world die twice. Right. I I thought you meant they portrayed her. Oh, yeah, no. I see, I see, I see. Understood. All right, gents. Ant-Man and the Wasp. I think this is the highest level of gourmet any film can achieve. And I think we should quit the podcast after this. (laughs) Here's... I, I I can't <laughs> soggy. I'm mm. sorry. I I really did not enjoy it that much. I uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say this. I I have seen it. 
I just I I don't really remember it. And I'm not I'm not saying that is necessarily a negative thing. I don't I don't have any complaints about it. I just don't super remember it that well. Like I don't remember who the villain was really either. But, but think about that for a second. Right. Because that <laughs> says something. Like, yeah, like yeah. this is this is a really recent or I guess a moderately recent movie. Well, it was six years ago. So <laughs> but still like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. in in that, Compa- it, in that time, yeah. comparatively we, sure. We remember what? so many of the other movies that what? came out at that time, mm-hmm. but this one is just so forgettable. Right. What what I'd say what I'd say is again I don't think that the, I I don't think any of these movies are bad like yeah. I don't think any of these movies are bad but I definitely think that like within the ranking that we've created this would probably fall right next to Iron Man three um, which yeah. is like yeah. it was it was a it was a sequel um, but it really was not memorable and um, like compared to the other giants on the list this doesn't necessarily stand as tall. Yeah, mm, because it's small characters, George. Is that what you're saying? You did notice my little <laughs> <laughs> what what I did there. That was, that was pretty clever. I like that. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I, I'm yeah, I'm fine with that. Sawgalicious. Awesome. No, that's not. No, <laughs> no, not sawgalicious. I I veto that. Okay. <laughs> All Bad right, gents. Keon. <laughs> All right, gents. And now it is time for Captain Marvel. All right. This one I don't know how to feel about this movie. I'm going to yeah. be honest. This one this one is similarly I don't I remember it a little more than Ant-Man and the Wasp. I remember I remember some of the visuals, I remember the characters, I remember the de-aged Samuel L. Jackson. I remember <laughs> I remember Goose the alien cat. Like it, Goose it, is my favorite part of that yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely had a lot going for it. Uh but it but it um yeah, I remember when I saw it I, I enjoyed it. Uh, but just not a not a super strong reaction. I do think Captain Marvel as a character, I think gets a little bit mistreated. I think that her... It's because she's a woman, isn't it? I, Well, yes, it, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you don't like it because she's a woman. No, I'm saying she gets mistreated. I think, because I think like, I think she and Doctor Strange are very similarly like very cocky, very powerful characters. Yeah. It was very interesting to see the internet love Doctor Strange and super disparage Captain Marvel. I just... I think a lot of people don't like this movie for the wrong reasons. Yeah. What I will say is that I think that I should have liked this movie more than I did. And mm. I really just can't like it just yeah. didn't it just didn't grip me. Yeah. And it wasn't and it wasn't the character because I I think that's a great comparison, like the the Doctor Strange, uh the Doctor Strange comparison. Mm. I would say that I just the movie did not grip me as well as as well as others did. And maybe that's it was fair. maybe it was because there wasn't like as much enough men as the there protagonist. There wasn't enough men. <laughs> no, but as much. And this is the last episode of the Everything Club. As, as much, as much, I, 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 I feel that at some points there was a little bit of a lack of authenticity. Mm. That, that's what I'd say my like primary concern was. But to be honest, I'd still put it in play. Like it was not like a bad movie. I remember it. I remember it. Um, and like it definitely set up some stuff. Um, in Endgame. So yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd, I would put it solidly in play. Okay, I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take that, yeah. But, yeah, I, I'm with you, George, where it's like, I feel like I should really like this yeah. movie, but I just for I just don't for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah. All right. Boys, you know what time it is. Pooping time. <laughs> that's right, let's go. <laughs> and Keelan's gone. Why, why would you... Why would you do that to our space? I'm back. <laughs> Ooh, I feel lighter. <laughs> Body humor. Let's go. Oh my All right, God. next one. Yep. Avengers Endgame. Soggy. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I really I really liked it for a lot of reasons. I, really? Yeah, yeah, I did. This, this Care to mo- get into it? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. This film was so complex I thought I, I I was honestly a little bit taken aback because we have seen so many of like the big bad and then like everybody rises up to defeat them together and like we've seen that 
play out so many different times. I mean, yeah, we we had three different Avengers movies <laughs> and a pseudo one with Civil War. Well, I I mean this kind of like final fight kind of. A yeah, thing. yeah. And I just I think that the way that they did it here, there was I think that there were enough layers that I felt I was watching a different movie. And there yeah. are definitely other films that I wouldn't say the same thing with. There are other there are other movies where I'm like, okay, this was just another like final fight. And this, I thought, was substantially enough different that I consider it yeah. its own thing. So I, I've touched on this in, in previous episodes, um, and I've compared it to that of uh, Sozin's Comet in yeah. Avatar: Last Airbender. Being able to see all these, uh, like all these individual stories, like at not necessarily at the same time, but like kind of at the same time, all play out and af- like affect one another in the end is one of my favorite things. And they did it. To the point where it like it made me cry in the theater. Mm. Like I don't I don't cry at movies, but that movie had tears in my eyes. With I presume Tony's death. Well, yes, but yeah, like yeah. just overall, just like just this is great cinema. <laughs> like like really like yeah yeah yeah. yeah like yeah. it was it is like unparalleled yeah. to me. Like yeah. it, it there's there's no matching to it. And yeah, that's time. Dang. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's you know, you know, no, no. Yeah. This, this is a this is a big movie. No, what? Say your piece, Keelan. <laughs> what? Well, I I would also just say real quick mm, okay, that like fine, there are I mean, apparently your name is Keelan now. <laughs> there 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 was. <laughs> Sorry, George. Go there, on. There, there there was a quote somewhere like some some director said it where like superhero movies they like aren't real movies or something like that. What? Who 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 is the well, Mar- Martin Scorsese yeah. said Ugh. that it's said that it's okay. <laughs> no, I, I know. It's no, not wait, as wait, bad wait, as wait, wait. We, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. No, no, hey, no. I was just. Like, that, that, it that, was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I think people really misrepresented that quote, but he did say that he thinks that like Marvel movies are not. He said they're like less cinematic, or they're not like they're not like what what you would consider cinema in the classical sense. Um, he said that they're they're more so entertainment. Um, yeah. That's what, what he said. What 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 I would say is that this movie was like the absolute pinnacle of like what he what he said there. Mm. I think that everything that they did here was so to the extreme, and they did it in such a great way. And like, I I, I would consider it more like a roller coaster ride than like the traditional kind of cinema cinema. Like yeah. when I watched this movie, I was like, okay, I kind of see what he's mean what he means here. Yeah, like it's definitely like this is definitely different. Um, but it was different in such a good way, and I really liked it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I think I think those lines get blurred, especially when you get into like fantasy, sci-fi, superhero type films. I think it's very easy to write them off as not being quote unquote real cinema because they're less grounded in reality. But I also think you can take a, a, a thing that feels like a roller coaster that is more of just kind of this entertaining blockbuster piece and and infuse really cinematic elements into it. I think you can do that very well, and I think the Marvel films do that often. Uh, and I think I think Endgame really held its own as a movie. I, I like killing off Thanos in the first act was a crazy move. I think the way that they incorporated time travel, the way that it, it was sort of a, a nostalgia trip, but also not you know it was very it was very fan servicey, but also it was rewarding and it was a really good conclusion. And it was there was a lot to love about this movie. Yeah, it, I, it was fan servicey, but for the right reasons because yeah. this is this is everything that they've been building for the last you know like twelve years. Exactly. So. They have an out there. Yeah, of course. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think gourmet. Yeah, yeah, absolutely gourmet. All right. All right. Last one. Spider-Man Far From Home. I'll let one of you boys take this away because clearly I do not remember it terribly well. <laughs> I did I did like Mysterio. I, yeah. did, I did like the movie and kind of getting to see Spider-Man uh, post Iron Man's death, but I just don't remember it terribly well, to be honest. Yeah, no, see, so it, this is really where I think Spider-Man really came into his own the most uh, because the, the, the Peter Tingle that he had really... <laughs> You know, like we we saw it, we we saw it a little bit in the other movies, but they never really like hit on it. But this one is where he really, you know, they really address that and they really you know establish that as part of Peter's character now. Mm. Um, so I mean, him dealing with all the illusions of Mysterio and being able to like trust his body to know what it needs to do is like, that's really good character growth in my yeah. opinion. Um, so that that's really the biggest reason why I love the movie. Plus. The visuals again we're we're good yeah uh george i i thought it was great i, I thought the most interesting part was seeing how how spider-man grew up without tony especially because they yeah. introduced him as such a 
pivotal character. I mean, we've talked about it earlier, just like in the first film, mm-hmm. seeing him at the end without that safety net. Yeah, I think was like probably the most compelling part of the movie. I thought. Yeah. All right. So uh, where where would we want to put it? Because we have not addressed that yet. I'd put it in yummy. Yeah. Same. Um, of of the two Spider-Man movies in these three phases, I would say it's the best one. Not the best Spider-Man movie that they put out yet, but or that they put out. But yeah, yeah. I mean, just saying it's superior. Of the to two, it's way better. Yeah. Because I, I have such opinions on the first one. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I also now now that now a bit of it's coming back to me when they're on like the school field trip abroad and kind yeah. of the, the the blossoming romance between Peter and MJ. Yeah. I thought I thought that was that was done well. I like. It's interesting how Zendaya is. Like this Michelle character who's not Mary Jane but goes yeah. by MJ. There's like there's a lot of like and how they don't have Uncle Ben in the movies. It's I always found that interesting the way that they did like kind of this offbeat version of the Spider Man lore because right. like audiences are so familiar with it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. All right. Well, that is time. All right. All and right. That all right. concludes all of the phase one through three movies. All right. Boys, you want to read off this list and then we wrap this boy up? Absolutely. And I'm going to remove the order out of this because I think that it is very much like a, like we, the, it is, it is difficult to rank movies at all. Yeah. Um, and I think that like every single one of these are like such fluid expressions of like the artists themselves that it's kind of difficult to just like put them on like one big list. Yeah. So like I, I'm going to read them out in an order. It's like semi-officially what we decided, but mm-hmm. every single one of these you can imagine them like floating around and like going like between each other. Gotcha. Um, in terms of gourmet, I would say, um, like, or rather, we would say, uh, in in the gourmet category, we have Avengers: Endgame, Avengers: Infinity War, The Avengers, Captain America: First Avenger, Captain America: The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, Guardians of the Galaxy. Avengers, Age of Ultron, Black Panther, Thor, and Captain America, Civil War. I like it. Great list. I'm happy with it. In Yummy, we have Doctor Strange, Iron Man 1, The Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man, Far From Home, Thor, Ragnarok, Iron Man 2, and Ant-Man. All right. I'm happy with that, yeah. Yummy. In Plain, we have Captain Marvel, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor, The Dark World. Happy with that, yeah. All right. And in Soggy, we have Iron Man 3 and Ant-Man and the Wasp. <laughs> I just, Soggy just feels so insulting. <laughs> Can I say what a testament it is that we have more films in gourmet than any Anything other else. category? Mm, wow. I feel like nostalgia might be talking By a little bit. <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. Slight bias given that we're all <laughs> avid superhero fans. Yes, but um, no, <clears throat> up until recently, Marvel, the MCU has... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm curious how this how this uh, ratio would change if we verged into phases four oh, and five. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. we might have like two in gourmet, <laughs> two more in gourmet. If, if we if we ventured into four and five, I guarantee you that the distribution would definitely change. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but uh, all right. Well, I believe that concludes the middle of the sandwich today. Do we have any deep questions? <laughs> <laughs> and the deep question round starts now. All right, now. so thank you, everybody, for tuning in and listening uh, once again this week. Um, I had a great time. It was uh, really kind of a tough discussion trying to put all of these in such a simple category. <laughs> but um, I, I think it worked. I'm happy with our list. Fellas, you, you feel the same? Yeah, I'm I'm very happy with it. Uh, again, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to make a list like this. It's hard to summarize such such quality monumental projects into these categories. But yeah, I mean these these are all great films. I would watch any of them again. I I um and now now I have a list and now I've been reminded of which ones are truly uh, have the most merits and I, I look forward to revisiting them soon. Yeah, absolutely. All right, cool. <laughs> well. <laughs> As I said before, thank you for listening, everybody. And uh, you guys have a great rest of your day, week, month, or even year. Whoa, even year. Even year. (laughs) Fellas, I hope you have a gourmet day. Remember to take a bite out of life. <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. We was, should bring that back. That was a good moment. I was I, trying to bring it back in my own way, but I guess it, yeah, it's okay. It's shut fine. up, Keelan. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope Noah has a soggy day now. <laughs> oh, wait, no, not next week. Because oh. we, we're, we're recording and uploading every other week. Now. Every other week now, listen. Keelan got, quote, unquote, burnt <laughs> out. So... You know. Yeah, it was just, just just editing eight episodes, eight thumbnails, putting them all on YouTube and Spotify, writing descriptions. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's no. 
It's a piece of cake. One per week. <laughs> He's not doing anything else. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is my life. <laughs> Professional podcaster killing <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, folks. Yeah, bye, everybody. Uh, peace out, everybody. Yes, yes, I, I get the Thanos reference. You think I'm fucking stupid? <laughs>